Now y'all know I love me some good teenage romance drama. Hey everyone, it's Sharonda from Pair of Weeks and today I'm gonna to be reviewing the Netflix film to all the boys, P.S. I still love you. So this is actually the follow up to all the boys I loved before. Um, these movies are actually based on books written by Jenny um, Han. And this is actually the second installment, but they've already greenlit the third one because the first one did so well. They said, go ahead and give me book two and book three and give everyone their life. And they should actually be done with the production for the third film. So Netflix, go ahead and run me that release date so I can know when I'm going to get my entire life all over again. Um, So this film stars uh, Lana Condor, Nora Citaneo, and also to Jordan Fisher. And it's directed by Michael um, Fuminari, who is actually, he's a known cinematographer, um, but I think I think this is actually his first um, full feature film um, and he will also be directing the third film as well so this time around Lara Jean and Peter okay they have went from fake official to real official okay she's not doing that fake stuff no, no more she a real girlfriend she got a real man so they're in love doing their whole I'm in love thing but of course, just the teenage drama gods has to just not let Lara Jean live her best life because one of the recipients of her letters pops back up and I was just like, ooh, honey, you in danger, girl. So for those of you who are new to my channel, I tell you what I liked about the film, what I didn't like about the film, and is it worth your time watching when it hits on Netflix this Wednesday? So going into, oh, actually before that, guys, I had to do this disclaimer. I'm so sorry. I know you're tired of hearing this. I am sick. I have lost my voice, so I do not sound how I normally sound. And I needed to say this again because someone decided to be very disrespectful in my comment section. So please just bear with me. It's not fun not being able to talk how you normally talk. And I don't need you in my comment section trying to come for me, okay? Because the Lord is working on my petty and I just might have to say something. Thank you. So going back to... To all the boys, P.S. I still love you. All right, so going into what I liked about this, I love um, Lana Condor. She is so great as, as Lara Jean, just from her facial expressions, just you can feel her emotion through the screen. Literally while watching her, there were moments I was just like, I totally remember feeling like this in high school. I was just like, Lord, can you bring me these teenage romance feelings again? Can you just bring this back into my life? Cause life was so simple back then. It's hard being an adult, you guys. But I really enjoyed watching her, watching her interactions as she has this like, you know, as she's kind of trying to navigate being a girlfriend for the first time and what that looks like. And then she has this whole added layer of what to deal with um, as you kind of second guess, you know, is this the right person for me? Um, should I be with someone who is more like who I am, who understands me? And so I really enjoyed um, watching her throughout the course of this film. Now, I definitely want to give a shout out to Lorraine Carson, who's responsible for the costume design, because I was like, Lorraine, okay, you had Lara Jean. She was slaying with these outfits. She had some very, like, she had some nice outfits, y'all. Lara Jean was looking good, okay? She was looking good, good. I was like, ooh, Peter, you, ooh, I don't think you're ready for this Lara Jean, but... Um, I really wanted to give a shout out to her, but also to um, for Holland Taylor's um, who plays Stormy for her um, outfits as well. I really love the color palettes, especially as we get some new set designs. I don't want to give too much away about where um, Lara Jean is, um, where her travels are taking her to throughout the course of this movie. Um, but I thought everything looked very um, well done. I love the vibrant colors. I love even the little they have these little things where they kind of go into the different chapters. I really love how they did that. I just thought that the movie overall had a very nice um, look to it. I really love the colors that they chose. Everything was just so crisp. And also to the overhead shots um, of where they live. They did this in the first one, but I just thought that it's, it just looks so nice. I was just like, you know what? I want to live there. I want to go visit there. Everything just looks so beautiful in this movie. Um, but I will have to say one of the things that I actually really enjoy about this series is the family dynamic that Lara Jean has. While we don't get to see much of her older sister, really, actually, you get to see less of her in this film than what she did in the first film. But I absolutely love John Corbett as her father, um, Dr. Covey, and also to her sister Kitty, who's played by um, Anna Cathcart. I loved her so much and I love the interactions that she does have with her sisters, um, with her sister in this film. I just think it's so fun um, to, you know, watch sisters, but also to, to watch, 
you know, people of color, like in films like this, just to see that we have the same fun interactions, just like everyone else with our siblings. And I thought they were absolutely adorable to watch on screen. But I have to talk about our two love interests, okay? Because we don't just have one. I know everyone loves Noah and I love Noah too, okay? I found out he's of age. The last time when I watched the first film, because I was a little iffy, I was like, Lord, should I be feeling this way? But he was like, he is of age. And I said, thank you, Lord. But we have Jordan Fisher, who is playing John Ambrose. So remember, she had a little boo thing that she had sent the letter to um, from Model UN, and he's going to be playing um, John Ambrose in this film. And I actually really liked him. I love the the stark difference between Peter and John. And I love how Noah um, and Jordan play their character so much that I felt conflicted. I was like, you know what? I am team this person more, but I am still rooting for the other person. I don't wanna give too much away cause I'm not giving any spoilers. I will be doing a spoiler review because I gotta talk about a lot of this teenage drama. And that is another aspect of this film. Honey, I feel like I was watching a little soap opera. We had a little tea spillage. I was like, say what? No, I didn't read the book. So this is really like, I'm learning everything for the first time. So we had a couple of truth bombs that happened. I was just like, say it ain't so. I can't believe it. I was highly invested in this film. I was engaged at all times. I really don't have anything bad to say about this movie. I really enjoyed it. Is it predictable? Yes, but that's not what we're here for. We are here for the drama. We are here for the romance. We are here just to be taken back to our teenage years. I'm sure this movie is not supposed to be for adults, but like I said, I love me some teenage drama. And so movies like this give me my entire life. And I had a great time watching this film. I can't wait for the third film. If you want to watch something that's going to make you feel all tingly and love on the inside, it made my ice cold heart feel warm again, this is the movie for you. I thought that it looks great. You guys have enough eye candy to look at. You have enough, a good story. And I like the interactions. I love, another thing that I do love about this is how they do address childhood friendships and how sometimes you can grow apart or you can become different people, but that doesn't take away the friendship that you had at that time. And so I love that movies are starting to talk about this more because I feel like if this is for a teenage audience, I do think that this is an important lesson for teenagers to learn. Um, Cause for those of you who have went off into college, you realize that your best friends may not still be your best friends or they still will. But I think that is an important lesson um, that everyone needs to learn. And also too, I do love that even though Lara Jean in this movie, she's still that shy young girl that we met in the first one. She she knows what she wants. She knows where her boundaries are. And she's also not afraid to um, just explore her feelings or to share her feelings or try to make sense of it and ask for ask for help. I, I really love these characteristics about Lara Jean. And that's why I think that she's such a likable character. Um, and someone that everyone could really easily relate to in some way, shape or form. But I think that's pretty much it, you guys. I really had a great time. I would definitely tell you it's worth watching um, when it hits Netflix on February 12th. Um, but those are just my quick thoughts on To All The Boys. P.S. I still love you. As always, my name is Sharonda from Pair of Weights. And if you like what you saw today, make sure you hit the like button, hit subscribe, share this video with your friends, and make sure you hit that notification bell. And I love you guys 3000. I'll see you soon.